Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to make a new stereo map and view our imagery in stereo or 3D. In order to do this, I'm going to assume you've either got or can get your hands on a pair of anaglyph glasses. As you can see, you can pick them up pretty cheap on Amazon. There are other ways you can do it. You might have active shutter glasses. However, I'm just going to go through the anaglyph demo this instance. Okay, before we do anything, we need to set up our viewing options so that we'll be able to see using anaglyph mode. In order to do that, we'll just go to project, open up options, and go to display settings. In the stereoscopic mode seen here, we're just going to turn that to 3D, red, and cyan. Click OK. Save changes, ArcGIS Pro will close and then reopen. At this stage then, when we go into scene and look at our 3D view, we should be able to see effect there. So you can see some red and some blue area. If you have anaglyph glasses and you've got them on now, this should look 3D. Okay, in order to view our imagery in stereo, you're going to go to new and new stereo map down the bottom. You're going to need the correct licenses, otherwise this will be grayed out. Once we have our new stereo map, you can click the stereo map tab and set a source. We're going to set our image collection. Which is found in your database. Uh, it's the image collection you've been using all the way through. This will take a couple of seconds to load, and when it does, you should be able to see everything in blue and red stereo. Okay, once that's finished loading, you should see something like this on your screen. Here we've got two images displayed together in order to give us a stereo image. If you're wearing your anaglyph glasses, the part you'll see in stereo or 3D is just this section in the middle. There's a couple of things you can do now. If you think your images are the wrong way around, you can invert the images or change your display mode. You can also open up a magnifier, which will help you see things in greater detail. And you can add an overview. In order to navigate around your stereo map, if you hold in the right mouse key, push your mouse forward, you'll zoom out, pull it towards you, you'll zoom in. If you hold down the left mouse key, use it to pan around the map. And if you roll the mouse wheel, you can either bring the cursor out towards you or further down. This is useful for heighting features and digitizing in 3D. I'll do another demo of this in the future. Finally, if you want to select another image, you can go up to the model selector. This will open up the model selector pane. We only currently have one stereo model available. However, if you were using a larger image collection for more images, you would have multiple models to select. Okay, thanks for listening. In future videos, I'll discuss how to digitize features in 3D. Once again, stay tuned for the next video.